Hello everyone. Today we are looking at my new Mega Wolf uh, Bento avatar. And uh, this wolf, as you can see, my mouth is moving. I'm using speech gestures with my wolf. And uh, all of his animations are actually inside of him. We'll take a quick look inside. And here we have all the different animations and there's different parts um, to the wolf, different sections. As you see here, I have uh, random ears, random tail, random expressions, and then I have a stand override and my regular um, AO override. And then a ton of different animations to animate all those different parts. And most of those movement animations are inside of the wolf. At the top here, you'll see I have a HUD. And if I hit menu on the HUD, we get a bunch of options here. And we can uh, do regular expressions. If you look real close, he's got a wow expression. There's a smile. There's a snarl. Oh, wait till he's out of this animation. So there's a snarl. There's worried. And um, eh, he cycles through a bunch of different animation. There's worried. And there's hmm. More like wondering almost. Smirking in a way. And there's a lick animation. Hard to see it there. We'll play it again. Where he licks his lips like that. A little lay animation where he lays down on the ground. A sitting animation where he sits. And of course uh, all of the speech gestures and everything still work. And then he can sniff the ground. And this random button plays random expressions. So it'll just randomly cycle through different expressions while um, the standing and everything else is going on. And they're just kind of goofy in a way. I don't think you'd want to just stand around with different expressions. It doesn't always have an expression playing. It's just um, somewhat randomly plays. And then you can hit stop to stop any animation you started. We have a growl here too, of course. Stop. And of course, he has all of your normal AO animations, like the walking animation. I haven't played all of them yet, so I might, um, might get delayed. There's a running animation. will crouch down on the ground so he's crouching now and I don't think I've played the crouch walk yet so it's gonna there it goes takes a second to load and we'll we'll fly the flying animation is not loaded yet so Sometimes I'm using the new set override system and there's a little bit of bug with a jump. When you're running, you can see the jump though. Oh, it hasn't loaded yet. There it goes. It has a... Uh, it doesn't always play the pre-jump if you're not running though. So there's, a little, there's a little bug with the set override functions there. See? That pre-jump played perfectly there. But if you're standing still, sometimes it'll play, and then it'll stick. And then the landing animation, and of course, we'll go up to flying. We'll fly. And now, fly around. And we'll 
stop flying. So we um, to finish with the HUD here. Those are the all the buttons in the menu. But then we also have these single play animations, which will play. This one is a bite. So there's a bite. Oh, let me scroll around here. So you can see it a little bit better. There's a bite animation. Here's a bark. Growl, and they're just sing. They just play one time. A howling animation and sound, and the other point about this wolf is it's really tall. Okay, right here is about a normal um, avatar size, and look at how tall the wolf is this is like twilight size wolf and i will be making some accessories for this be uh to allow people to ride him um but that's a basic look at the wolf uh and there's a couple other features i have to go into here you can customize the wolf this is a bento avatar so uh, the shape and everything can be customized. And over here, um, I should explain some of these wolves over here. These are all the different um, colors and textures the wolf comes in. And then you can even further customize it from there. But um, the other part of this customization, though, is customizing the shape. So I have a few different shapes in here. I'm going to go through some different shapes. And this kind of shows the range of customization you can do on the avatar. That is pretty uh, vastly different than the original shape. Um, we'll go to a really small size avatar. So you can actually get this wolf avatar down to something like this or, you know, whatever you like. Uh, there's, uh, I should go through a little bit of the uh, shapes. I'm going to make a new shape here. And I'll just wear this new shape that's the default shape of the wolf I'm going to edit my shape and anytime you're using like a four-legged animal or anything like this the arms are gonna cross this is normal not desired but normal so um, uh, there's quite a few sliders that work with this okay height and everything works but um, it also adjusts your back legs so if you use those sliders then you'll have to um, make some other adjustments maybe in the front legs maybe in the hips who knows body thickness that all you can adjust that all the rest of these um, aren't ones you're gonna use really head size head size all works head stretch um, head shape notice how these pop out more with that head shape um, egg head head length now this you probably don't want to play with that much I mean, you can use it, adjust it a little bit, but the range is not very far for that. Um, forehead angle, there's a little bit of that going on. Um, I don't want to do braid um, face sheer. Eyebrows do pop out a bit. Um, upper cheeks, the upper cheeks will come out. 
And that's kind of nice. Now, the one I really like though is these lower cheeks. So I made it so that they're rigged to that hair that's on the side of the wolf here. So when you inflate the lower cheeks, you're also inflating that puffiness around the side of the wolf's face. Just like that. And cheekbones doesn't do anything. Eyes. You want to be careful with eyes. You don't want to go too high or too low because you'll start popping out of his face. Eye opening though works really well. Eye spacing doesn't work. Outer eye, inner eye doesn't work on this avatar. On some bento avatars, especially the human ones, uh, some of these will work, but not on this avatar. Eye depth, I don't think works. Eyelid fold does a little bit. No, it doesn't look like it. Eye bags, I know it works. Puffiness works. Eyelash length doesn't work. Ears. Now, sadly, just the ear size works, so you can go all the way up and down like that. So that's a pretty big range for that. But it's too bad the tip doesn't work, because that would be um, very useful and neat. Um, the nose, there's quite a bit of range in the nose. So most of the nose sliders will work. Nose width. Um, these I don't think work with this one. Nose thickness. Upper bridge. Lower bridge. And bridge width. That one works really well too. And you can get, um, you know, you can really change the look of your wolf quite a bit. Nose tip angle doesn't work. Nose tip shape does work. Crooked nose, I think, works, but we won't use that. Um, the mouth, um, some of the thickness things do work. Lip width is not going to work. Fullness does work. So you can really make the mouth of the wolf the fullness you can really affect how that looks thickness it really does uh, allow you to change it quite a bit the ratio of which one up or down mouth position does not work um, some of these cleft things do work though I don't know how well for this though chin um, most of these do not some do a little bit jaw angle does do a little or jaw shape depth I think some of these just affect it a little bit I don't have a whole lot of chin being weighted there so chin to neck that does affect quite a bit um, and then some of these torso ones, they do work. You can get it to a pretty good range depending on the look that you want. I don't know why I can't move out. There we go. So um, muscle muscles don't work. Neck thickness. This is what gets really interesting here is the neck. It almost works in reverse too. So thickness pushes your neck outward too. So you can have an even longer neck. So it's more the length of the neck it's working there. And then the length is actually working more the thickness, how big you want that neck to be. So you get quite a bit of range in there. Let me go out just a little bit there. And then your shoulder width, that one is really nice too. If you're going for a more like a kind of a bull type of wolf, 
with big shoulders. Breast size, none of that works. Um, arm length works um, somewhat strangely here. You're more or less making your arms thicker. And then the hand size does work really nicely. So you can have different very large hands or very small hands. Torso length works. You don't want to play with some of these too much unless you're trying to match up your back end, which can be a lot of back and forth saving and looking at it back and forth. Love handles doesn't work. Belly doesn't work. Legs. We have leg length, of course, does work. Hip width. This can be a nice adjustment for how you want your wolf to look wider back legs hip length that can do a little bit too depending on how you want it to look butt doesn't work knee angle i think that no that doesn't work um foot size doesn't work this uh who knows maybe we'll get this to work we'll talk to linden lab uh, file a bug that foot should should work though there's no reason why it shouldn't but um, we'll save that. But we didn't do a bunch of changes to this. But I just wanted to show um, just how customizable this wolf can really be. And uh, with the different coats and different uh, options you have there, um, there's quite a bit. And um, maybe for this last part, I think I want to... Um, go to a very popular place and um, just so you everybody can see these wolves kind of near other humans near human avatars oh here we go so the, the wolf is pretty large compared to a human. I think I'm getting a, I'm getting a message here. Look at how tall that is next to a regular human. So I just wanted to give a little comparison. Uh, but uh, have a good one, everyone.